So this is the 2020 BMW X3M. King of the hill for sport compact SUVs today. It's fast, it's sporty, and it handles. It ticks off all the boxes and does everything well, yada, 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 we get all that. If you wanna see a full in-depth review of this car, just click on the link somewhere down below. Today, we're gonna to do something a little different though. We're gonna see how much power and performance this thing can gain from a simple JB4 tune. Remind you, this is not the competition model that has 503 horsepower, but the 473 horsepower standard X3M. The 30 extra horsepower comes from a pound and a half of extra boost and a improved exhaust system, which this car does not obviously have. This video is not sponsored by anyone, so Burger Tuning, if you're listening, just your friendly neighborhood car channel, looking for some support. Anyways, let's move on and hand this thing over to our resident race car driver. He doesn't seem to know that there are programmable M buttons on the steering wheel, but it's okay. You do you, bro. As of this video, the JB4 is still in beta form for the S58 platform. There are some quirks involved and the install process is rather annoying because there's a strut bar in the way. But after getting it all sorted out, we have set it to MAP2, which is sort of an off-the-shelf basic tune for 93 octane. Theoretically, we should be seeing about 22 pounds of boost and maybe mid to high 500 to the wheels. Time to see how it does. Ah, it seems like he's finally discovered the M button. And we're off. All right, and the moment you've all been waiting for, the results. On my right, you have the stock X3M times, DA corrected and all that good stuff. Quick, especially for an SUV. Actually, the fastest SUV we've tested on this channel so far. It's right up there with the M2 Comp and even edges out on the Model X P100D in the long game. Now, when you add a good 100 or so horsepower to it, you get a completely different animal. So here are the DA corrected times. Now, a little disclaimer. I know all these times aren't all that glamorous, but keep in mind, it was 40 degrees outside and the added horsepower to this car didn't work out too well for the all-wheel drive system. We got some crappy launches, but not a big deal because we know that on a good summer day, this thing will beat 90% of the sports cars that are on the road from a dig and from a roll. It's right up there with the Audi RS6 and M850i's. Not too bad for a little compact SUV. So the car is definitely faster, no doubt about it. And we're running it on map two, which is pretty conservative at about 22 pounds of boost. I think once all the kinks are worked out with the tune, we're gonna see eight seconds, 60 to 130 times on this car. Not bad for essentially what's a pretty cool mom car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by leaving a thumbs up and comment below. Also, don't forget to take a look at our merch store and support the channel. And if this is your first time here, check out some of my other stuff. I produce high quality cinematic car content, so if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon for new episodes every Thursday. Thanks for watching.